lesson nine of hands-on equations. And what you're going to learn today is that the white star and the blue X, the white pawn, the blue pawn, are opposites of each other. So if the blue pawn represents a loss of $3, then the white pawn represents a gain of $3. If the blue pawn represents an increase of $5, then the white pawn represents a decrease of $5. Again, if the value of the blue pawn is 2, what is the value of the white pawn? If this is 2, two. then the white pawn is negative 2. They are opposites. So basically, that's the most important thing that you need to remember about the white pawn and the blue pawn. They are opposites. So if you put a white pawn and a blue pawn together on one side, what are they going to equal if they are opposites? Chris, zero. they're going to equal zero. So you have star plus x equals zero. And that's the way that goes. So. Now, we need to figure out how to find the value of a simple algebraic equation or expression using x's and stars. So, if we have x equaling 2, then I want to know what this equation equals. We're going to evaluate this. So, I'm going to put two x's plus a star plus another x, plus another star, plus 5. And I want to know what this equals when we know, going into it, that x equals 2. We know that a blue pawn and a white pawn together equal what? Zero. One zero. So we can take our zeros away. How many zeros can I take away? Two. I can take two away. Here's one I can take away. Here's two I can take away. I'm not changing the value of the expression. I'm only taking a zero away. I can add zeros. I can subtract zeros. It doesn't do anything to change the value of the expression. If x equals 2, what does this combination equal then, Chad? 5x. If we have 5 plus x and x equals 2, it's the same as saying 5 plus 2, and what is that going to equal? 7. 7, absolutely. This equals 7. Knowing that x equals 2, we have 2 plus 5, the expression is evaluated as equaling 7. So let's do two more examples of that. We're going to have star equal 4, and I'm going to set up three stars plus x minus a star plus 1. What is the first thing I can do to simplify this expression? I can take a 0 away. They told me ahead of time that star equals 4. So now I have 4 and a 1. What does this expression equal? Chris? 5. It equals 5. Absolutely. Let's do one more example. If x equals negative 6. I'm going to have two stars plus a star plus two x's plus 5. What can I do to simplify this, Vanessa? Take two pairs away. I can take two pairs away. There's one zero I can take away. There's another zero I can take away. Now I have star equals and a 5. Star and a 5. Now, it told me that x equals negative 6. What does star equal? Positive 6. So now I have 6 and 5 equals 6 plus 5 equals 11. So this is evaluated at 11. Excellent job. Thank you.